Okay, I just want to be explicitly clear here is that I am covering GTII based on huge demand, okay? So I'm getting messages, I'm getting comments, I'm getting replies on videos to cover GTII on videos that have nothing to do with GTII. So let's go ahead and dive right in. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a GTII technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this happy Saturday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. All right, so yes, as uh, you all may know, I have not touched GTII in quite a bit, but I have some very interesting concepts here for you uh, today. Okay, so on the five-day chart, this is something that I didn't show on a dedicated video. I've only expressed this on my live uh, sessions uh, per request, right? So this is a broadening descending wedge, which is a very typical pattern presented in recessionary periods or uh, bear market cycles. Uh, you can see them in, in whatever, just on a downtrend, right? So this is following the golden rule of three pretty nicely, okay? So what that means is that we're facing uh, resistance touch one, two, three, the biggest capitulation event, of course, and then we're actually trying to, we're trying to break out on test number five, okay, because this was four, failed it, came right back up, and this is the test number five that's happening right now, okay? You can see the wick right down there. All right, now, why did it fail test number four? Well, sometimes test number four tends to be uh, a, a bull trap, and why can it be a bull trap? It's particular to this right angle triangle that we're trading, okay? So you can see here that we, I mean, the, the lines are a little messy right now, but please, please, please know that this is a test number one of resistance, test number two of the resistance, three, and then, of course, that golden rule of three fulfilled, and now breaking out on that test number four. Okay, so this is it's very important that we can notice other types of formation that other types of traders may be uh, trading. Okay, so what this can be considered is a buy formation. Okay, so the so the breakout is in fact a little more complex than it would be if we were just trading a massive broadening descending wedge. Okay, so per the playbook rules, just so we're clear, the take profit for this wedge would actually be located right at the genesis of the of this wedge. Okay, so you're looking at a take profit target of about uh let's see of about two dollars and 95 cents okay so that is per the trading rules i'm talking about just the trade the the I'm, like maybe investopedia and stuff like that i'm just, just playbook rules this is how a broadening descending wedge is traded okay the take profit zone would usually be located at at uh, point a okay so this would be point a or the genesis of the formation and that's usually where we can face a lot of resistance which actually has to do a lot with these candles here it does not mean however that it would be uh that gtii would be done in fact there could be a type of retracement here for what to yes man if you already know if you've already been in my channel and in the discord you already know the play we have to retrace to come back and test our newly converted resistance into support before a continuation to the upside okay now the good thing here is is that the right angle triangle has a has a uh a target objective okay so the way we do that is actually we take a trend line from the hypotenuse of the triangle which is the highest point of the triangle and we take it to the lowest point and we apply it to that supposed area of breakout in this case it would be uh this candle here this five day iteration that we're on okay so now the metrics are just a little bit different from what we were looking at weeks ago okay so the the target that we're essentially getting right now is about twenty one dollars and ninety cents which still has a lot of confluence within that $18, $19 zone that we were looking at per the 3,000% boost to the upside uh, based on that volatility versus momentum statistical backtest. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the next chart as this has now been cleared. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and touch on something very, very important here. Okay, this is the uh, Cryptex ARC series uh, enhanced MACD. Okay, so this enhanced MACD it uh, includes. 
Bollinger Bands, which is this red cloud, and it does have bull and bear signals, okay? So we're looking at pretty much what we're looking at here is volatility versus momentum in one indicator, okay? So this is just in case you don't know how to run the volatility versus momentum uh, back test that I did to create that upside thrust. This is another, it's kind of a shortcut way to be able to see what volatility versus momentum are doing, okay, you guys? So momentum represented by the little square dots, and volatility represented by the Bollinger Bands, okay? So let's go ahead and touch on something very important here as I just caught it today, okay? Look at, uh, for, first of all, when volatility, aka Bollinger Bands, start to contract, meaning getting into this tight, tight area, usually something is brewing, meaning that there is going to be a potential uh, strong upside move or a downside move. Remember, volatility is direction neutral, okay? In this case here, we contracted very tight and then the downside move uh, happened while expanding volatility, okay? So the, you can see just what, what type of thing happens, okay? So in this case, we contracted very tight and then we made an explosive move to the upside, okay? Now, please do know, that this was a bear signal printed right before a uh, small pump and then a huge capitulation happened, okay? So the capitulation was actually guessed by Enhanced MACD on, on April 26th before facing the first candle cap capitulation of May 20th, almost a month ahead of time on the three-day chart, okay? So please notice here that the Enhanced MACD also signaled at the opening of this candle, which was... Uh, let's see, $4.73 before a huge capitulation to the downside, okay? So this was uh, giving us a clear warning, okay, you guys? Now, the what the very important part here is, is that I'm talking about, right, is this. We just got a bull signal printed after long, after, uh, I mean, a long, long wait, and also look at volatility fully contracted all the way down here. If we can just go ahead and measure, I took a little box right here just so we can see how contracted we are. So we can just, uh, you know, a, a very poor man's way to just measure it real quick, right? So we'll take a little box here and we can see that it's already contracted to that level. And we come over here and we compare it and it looks like it's right around the same contraction levels that we had before that huge upside run. Okay, so this now has given us a bull signal at the opening of this candle being at $1.15. We are sitting right now at $1.45. Okay, very important things right here. If you are interested in acquiring any of, I'm sorry, if you are in, interested in acquiring the ARC series Cryptex indicators, definitely, definitely consider sending a DM or uh, visiting me on Discord and we can go over the subscription packages for these awesome indicators. Okay, you guys, so let's move on to the next chart as there are still more things to talk about. Okay, I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that I was not going to touch this chart ever until I visited GTII again on an official video and I have not. Okay, you guys, so that is essentially what I'm looking at here. Okay, so Let's now look at this chart and see what it has done since we last spoke. Okay, very interesting thing here. This yellow trend line here that was giving us that $18 target was essentially this place where I told you in my last video that we would break out from. I said that we can take the triangle, the, the, you know, the breakout, I'm sorry, uh, that we can take the price objective from the hypotenuse of the triangle to the lowest point of the triangle. In this case, it would be confluent to these candles right over here. And then we can apply it to the supposed breakout area where I said right here and look at what the candle is doing right now. These things, and I said it in that video to you guys, these things take a massive amount of time when we're looking at three-day charts, okay? I am not here to give you the price objective of the one hour or the 15 minute. I am here to give you the targets that matter. OK, this is why I am hated. This is why I am I'm getting all this grief from GTI people. I don't care. 
I'm going to give it to you the way it is, okay? And this is why I was talking to you long, long ago that we may be looking at a breakout at 70 to 75% to the apex of the triangle and look where we are at that 70% mark. Okay, you guys, things are looking very good for GTII right now. And this is, this is actually the statistical chart that lots of people have been wanting to see, okay? Another thing that I want you to notice here is that this trend line matches the profile of a descending triangle or a right angle triangle perfectly. This is a very important parameter that we must notice in the event to where we may be actually trading this descending triangle, okay? So this absolutely meets the criteria for this for this formation, okay? Now, let's go ahead and touch on that, <laughs> that ridiculous back test because apparently it's still circu in circulation and it is still in continuation, okay, you guys? So just to touch on uh, the details from before, this is volatility represented by BBWP, uh, aka Bollinger Band with percentile, okay? So in this case, we did mention before that we need three different conditions here for the volatility component, okay? Uh, and the moving average. Volatility component being this spectrum line and moving average being this pink line. We, we stated that we need to either be printing uh, these red bars, which indicate a three-day read since we are in the three-day chart, or we need to maintain in critical volatility, which is anything within the 90 percentile, or we need to contract and or start the contraction phase or re-enter this volatility, okay? Lots of ways we can do this. And you can see here, we got an aggressive pivot towards the upside, starting that expansion phase one more time. And in fact, following something very interesting here, okay? We can actually see that we are now following a very interesting set of linear, linear regression, trend line support or trend line rejection, okay? So this is very, very much in line with a mathematical upside okay so let's go ahead and now look at momentum okay because momentum was essentially being invalidated for this short period of time of course it is the three day we're looking at three six nine <laughs> you know just massive amounts of days over here okay you guys oh actually the three day consists of maybe four four days and or five days including weekend some weird thing like that um but yes we were capitulating for some time but as you can see we did not reverse we in fact just pulled back and now we are continuing that upside even still okay another thing to mention that i have that i have noticed before is is that we are facing this linear regression again okay which is very rare in the markets and the markets as we are following non-linear regression and uh, this is actually signaling the potential of a rejection from this area here if we have moved about 300 percent to the upside from here what could it be from this area to this area, right? And would it be actually a final breakout out of this trend line re uh, rejection regression? Okay, I don't know, but we're definitely gonna have to go ahead and find out. The most important thing here is, is, is that the K average, which is the 14 day simple moving average of the momentum indicator and the three day simple moving average of being the D average are now both pivoted aggressively towards the upside resetting the conditions and the criteria just like we said that they would in the last videos from GTII. Guys, I've been talking about potential pullback to reset the conditions and they have been reset. We must practice patience within this, guys. This is going to take a lot of time. This is going to take like I said, weeks and weeks. Okay, you guys, so the good thing is, is that the conditions have been reset and we are still now in that contraction phase, now in an expansion phase below the the 90 percentile, which usually is that area where we start to make engage that upside move. I hate even saying this, guys, but this is still in the cards, okay? Why is it still in the cards? 3,200% move to the upside leads right into the take profit zone of this formation as well. 
Okay, so very interesting for us to notice things like this. Okay, let's go ahead and take an overall fib from the uh, swing high to the swing low, and we can actually see right over here that we're gonna touch that one spot 272 at about 20 bucks, and right right under the two spot 618 golden mean, which is essentially that very important uh, fib ratio where sentiment likes to take the trade to, is right at 2312, which is essentially just about under that target of 22 bucks, 2193 of the triangle. Very interesting things here, guys. Lots, lots of rhyming. Okay, next and last part of the analysis is this uh, RSI. Okay, so we are looking, at, we are looking at here of one drive of hidden bullish divergence, a phantom hidden bullish divergence, and two drives of phantom regular bullish divergence already in play. Okay, and please notice the aggressive upside that the daily RSI is facing right now. Remember that your purple line is the RSI signal and the pink line is that 14-day simple moving average, okay? Please notice the upside pivot now correcting on that 14-day simple and always remember your position of your uh, RSI signal. We are absolutely in the gravitational zone of the bull weakness percentile suggesting absolute gravity pull right into that strength zone. Okay, let's go ahead and now open up that multi-pane so we can gauge that true edge over the trade just like we always do all right so let's go ahead and now look at the 30 minute immediate short term time frame just like always right if you still remember <laughs> all right so we are looking at the signal line absolutely in the overbought percentile definitely with lots of room still to go to the upside as you can see this prior iteration here on december 27th uh, it went all the way up to about within the 90 percentile so this is still looking good a little bit of consolidation here but that 14 day moving average will be that saving grace for that immediate short term okay let's go ahead and now look at the buy hourly buy hourly is suggesting a little bit of consolidation as well if if it just so happens that we do come back and retrace then there are several areas of support that are very much uh, a strong uh, key key supports okay inflection points that are very less like uh, very much not likely to break to the downside okay we also have that 14 day simple moving average still moving to the upside which could essentially work as a form of support and a temporary area of pullback before a continuation to the upside things start to get interesting on the eight hour though please notice that we have used that 14 day simple as a form of support before a continuation onto the upside and now we have cleared that bull strength percentile with utter thrust and still suggesting an upside look at the daily we already saw it but still a massive upside continuation. Here is the three-day time frame. Now, this is very important, okay? I actually wanted to talk to you about this. Since, let's see, October 28th, 2022, the RSI signal broke below the 14-day moving average, which is absolutely bearish and absolutely broke through it in an aggressive manner, finally, months later on January 17th, 2023, with an absolute upside thrust right here. Also, we are right at that gravitational zone of the bear weakness percentile suggesting in in, in it actually an immediate in uh, continuation to the upside and absolutely look at this 14 day simple making this upside pivot correction okay big deal on the three day chart now the five day suggesting a continuation to the upside it looks to be temporary uh, upside but please notice that this is actually now starting to enter that gravitational pull which is very likely for us to finally succeed the upside of this 14 day simple moving average I am not a financial advisor Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. Okay, you guys? Make sure to do your own due diligence and everything will be just fine. Make sure to get in touch with me for those indicators on a DM. Definitely refer to the links down below for Discord and Twitter. And most importantly, join the TradingView uh, or use the TradingView affiliate link as it will absolutely help my trading future out. Okay, you guys? With that said, I wish you well. A very very good night, and I will catch you at the bell on Monday. Have a great weekend too, guys. Adios.